Oof, okay, yeah, this is a documentary that touches on a lot of touchy subjects, and I don't talk politics on this channel, so I'm going to have to do my best to talk as little bit of politics as I can doing this review, so yeah, let's get to it. Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Here's my review for the movie Fahrenheit 11.9. Yes, this is a document. This is a documentary that is written and directed by Michael Moore. Yes, the one and only master documentarian, Michael Moore, the guy who gave us movies like Fahrenheit 9/11, Roger and Me, Ball for Columbine, Sicko, all those great document documentaries that I freaking love, and this documentary. Uh, he made a documentary a lot about George Bush when he did Fahrenheit 9-11 and stuff, and now he's doing a documentary, basically almost like a follow-up sequel about another really bad president, the president that's president now, Donald Trump. It's about the Trump era. And basically the document the documentary asks the questions, how did we get how do we get to this era and how do we get out of this era? And what's in store next for the United States and how can they survive this Trump era that they live in and stuff. I'm Canadian, by the way, so I'm just, just saying. Um, I'm going to try my best very hard. I'm going to try not to talk politics on this on this review. It, I avoid politics on my channel. I don't want to talk about politics. I don't want to hear about people's politics. Uh, my personal life, sure, but not on this channel. This is a movie-related channel. I do TV shows and anime occasionally, but mostly I just talk movies. I do not talk politics. But, I'll have to talk a little politics to talk about this movie. Uh, but I'm just going to just talk about the movie. Not about the politics of what the United States is going through right now. They're going through a lot right now. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to try not to talk about it. I'm, I'm going to talk about this movie. Talk about how well made this movie is. And I want to talk about if it's a movie that everyone should see. Especially in America and stuff. Uh, is this a documentary that people are going to remember in the future? Uh, to answer all those, yes. Yes, uh, I think this is a very well-crafted documentary. Uh, Michael Moore really knows how to make a documentary very compelling and stuff and talk about issues that are very relevant and very important to know. And the guy is ballsy. He, he does not give a shit about what he says. He knows we live in countries with freedom of speech and he can say what he needs to say, and st say what he wants to say to get what he needs to say out, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> he just needs to say, like, what the truth is and what all the bad things are happening, and it's a lot because of who's in office right now, and, yeah, times are really rough right now, and basically he goes through all of that in this documentary, basically about the before Trump era, about uh, during, like, Barack Obama and stuff, and then down to the Trump era and the future that has in store for the United States and how bad society will be and how bad the government will be after all this is over and stuff and yeah talks about a lot of really dark and pretty depressing shit but he does add comedy into it because it is michael moore and stuff and he talks about very interesting issues and honestly it's a very well made documentary and it speaks the truth and it's very educational and it's a documentary that you can't show young viewers but i can see this documentary being shown in a lot of universities and colleges and stuff and yeah it's it's a really well-made documentary that I was glad I watched, and yeah, it's not perfect. It's not even close to being one of his best document documentaries out there. It's nowhere near as good as Roger and Me, Ball for Columbine, or Sicko. Those are just way better films. This movie is overly long. It's about 2 hours 10 minutes. It gets a little boring at times. It gets a little repetitive and pretty tedious at times as well. Those, those are my main issues, but Michael Moore is a very interesting character, and I really enjoy hearing his voice and his political views and stuff. He's just a really interesting and pretty cool guy, actually. And I thought this was a very well-directed documentary. It was very well-paced, despite it being a little too long, but it was still very well-paced. And it talked about the truth and it spoke the truth. And, yeah, I think a lot of people should go out and pay money to see this, this documentary. I don't want to spoil the stuff he says in this movie because it just ruins the impact of the film. And I'm not talking about politics again. It, it, this movie speaks the truth, though. It gets a little over dramatic at times, and it gets a little rough at times. But sometimes you need a to be a little rough to get your message across. And honestly, it's it's a very good film. It's not an amazing film. It's not a film I'd probably see again. But I'm glad I saw it, and I would definitely recommend it. And that's all I'm gonna say. 
trust me, that's all I really need to say and really want to say, actually. So, yeah, check this one out. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the documentary Fahrenheit 11, 9, a 7.5 out of 10. It's a very good documentary. Nothing amazing, nothing groundbreaking, but it's good. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Fahrenheit 11.9. So in the comment section below, please tell me what is your favorite movie that is made by the man himself, Michael Moore. My favorite is obviously uh, Bowl for Columbine. I think that is his best film, but yeah, what is your favorite? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.